In this week's episode of Working With Apps, I'm going to show you how I use drafts. Hello and welcome to this fifth episode of Working With Apps. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how I use an application called Drafts every single day. Now I would like to show you how I use this on my iPhone but unfortunately I'm using my iPhone to record this episode and my spare iPhone is not here. So I'm going to show you how to do this on my iPad it works in exactly the same way, iPhone, iPad, it doesn't matter. But Drafts is just an amazing application. What is Drafts, I hear you saying? Well, Drafts is an application that is basically a note-taking application, but it is more than a note-taking application. You could store notes in Drafts if you wish, but that is not really what Drafts was designed for. Drafts is designed to quickly capture your ideas, tasks, notes, anything at all, and then you can choose from a action menu to send that note that you've captured or idea or commitment to Evernote, to your Google Drive, to Dropbox, to Todoist even. It will send it wherever you want. And that is the beauty of drafts. You can also do more complex actions, they call them actions, but you can do more complex actions like I have an email that I send out to students that I need to remind of their class later that day. And I just do it, I just send it in drafts. I just add the student's name to the to the email address field, just put dear or hi Sarah, and then send done no problem at all it's really really fast it's a brilliant application and I don't know how I ever managed without it before it came out it's just a wonderful application so I'm going to show you how I use that every single day because I do genuinely use this one every single day before I do that though I would just like to say if you like this video please click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe. Okay, let's go into drafts and I'll show you how I use it. Okay, so here is my iPad and as you can see down at the bottom next to Todoist, I have my drafts application, which is right here. So I click on that. Now what I could do is let's say I have an idea for um, a blog post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in uh, um, Todoist is great so let's just say that and over here on my action list this is what we call the action list and you can actually add send this anywhere you like so I can add this to Todoist word of the day WOD means word of the day I can add it to my medium blog post ideas life hack article ideas because occasionally I do write to life hack write for life hack to do his videos ideas, Evernote video ideas, whatever. I have a lot of ideas that I actually share and stop. So what I can do is, let's just imagine I'm going to send this to my Medium blog post ideas. So I'm just going to click on that. Bang, off it goes to, to Evernote. I don't have to do anything else. I can get straight back to my work. But now if I go into Evernote, what you'll see is that has just come into my blog post ideas. This is a note that I have previously set up and it will just append to that list. It's just such a valuable way of capturing ideas. And this series is not really about how to set these things up, but I strongly recommend that you have a look at drafts because there are so many things that you can do. So these are my frequent ones. Uh, I mentioned before about the email. Now, the email in the intro, so I've got mal1, which is an email. This opens up an email. All I have to do is click on tool here, and I can type it, I'll type in my address because I don't want to send it to, um, let's send it there. And then all I have to do is type in hi Carl, and I can just send, off we go. 
bang, that email has gone. That's just a standard email. Now, there are many, many other things that you can do. As you can see, that's just come in. Um, don't forget you have a class book today. You can see how quick that comes in. It just goes, bang. What a, it's just an amazing application. And you can set it up for all sorts of things. I've got things like post to Twitter, post to Facebook, even post to Google+. Um, but there are so many things that you can do with drafts. It's well worth it if you like to capture things on your uh, iPad or even on your phone. I mean, actually on your phone, it is a hundred times better. Uh, and I, But it just works in exactly the same way. So I have all these kind of lists down here and I can just send it wherever I want to send it. I don't know, as I say in the introduction, I don't know how I can actually survive without it. Now, for those of you guys who are new to drafts, what I would strongly recommend is you take a look at David Sparks' series on drafts. It's a brilliant series. You'll be so amazed at what drafts can do. And I'm going to put a link to that in the notes section below if you well, if you want to have a look at that. There's no point in me trying to show you how to use drafts because David Sparks does a job that there's no way I could beat that. It's all free, all his videos. I think there's about eight or nine videos in there. It shows you how to set it up, shows you how to even use Markdown and all sorts of other things. Just a brilliant, brilliant application. So thank you very much for watching this episode. I just wish you all have a very, very productive week.